Live 了啊 ！Hello， yes, live， we are live， yes， hello everyone， good day， good evening， wherever you are。Hi Linda， 哎，俾我 share 一下 the、yes. the the live stream。Okay. Hi Linda， Hi Yvonne， Hi Yvonne。Okay， let us do the sharing first， yeah。Yes。Okay， if you see why tonight only two， because last week we let go somebody's aeroplane， <laughs> so this week she let go our aeroplane， no？ <laughs> yes。Now she's flying to the East Coast Highway. Yes. Ah, yeah.、Mm. Now it's her turn to explore the North. <laughs> Hi, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Yvonne. Okay. How have you all been doing? Yeah, especially in this Dragon Month, where a lot of some may experience quite a lot of changes, quite a lot of um. Weird and events. So please do share with us while we will be also listening. Basically, me lah, just listening to Pauline's sharing because it's going to be more exciting for her excursion, her spiritual path, which fill with loads of excitement. <laughs> Before I start the story, right? I I I almost need to apologize to the universe. You know, I'm sorry for being obtuse. <laughs> I apologize for being so obtuse. Okay, so, see you by each other. Let me present、okay, the sure. screen first. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. So, ah,、uh, this is some story. This week is some storytelling. Ah,、uh, hi, Jeremy. Hi,、uh, Jeremy. Yes, yeah, I'm right. Talk three, talk three, talk two, talk three, I'm right. Hi, I'm going to talk to you. Hi, Diggy. Hi, Diggy. She's, she's also taking her journey to the north. She FFK us because last week we FFK her. <laughs> okay, so、uh, <clears throat> this is from、uh, last week. Hi, Joseph. When I went Hi, to China. For a spiritual excursion, it was my first. And okay, the bottom line is, bloody hell, want to what have to suffer a lot, man. <laughs> going for excursion and some more is your spiritual path. Of course, you have to go through out your comfort zone, ma. It it was very painful. So why is there so much pain involved? Okay. Ah,、uh, and next, I need to also apologize. I'm not very good at taking photos and videos at places. Okay, because I'm too busy trying to stay alive. Okay. So, okay. So we basically went to two places in ah、uh, ah、uh, China. Ah,、uh, one is a、uh, Wudang Mountain, and one is ah、uh, Lushan Mountain. And so along the way, we met a deity, an immortal, and a Buddha. Okay. So um, I was telling uh Jonas that I will be high say to share because my breakthrough is very basic, unlike others who basically go there and go wow the hair turn white lah, you know, become half an immortal lah. If I if give to Jonas to go there, sure he come back hair is white color, you know, <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> suddenly talking in weird language and all that. But for me, nothing. My breakthrough was very basic. But there is some breakthrough. Hi, Sulen. How are you? Hi, Sulen.、Okay, Hi, Serena.、So. Hi, Latifa and Moisi. Yes. So first one, so, wow. Where is this? First one. This is uh, uh at Mount Mount uh Wudang. This is the princess uh uh port the Taiji uh uh the place. Prince. Ah,、uh, basically one one of the princes of I don't know which dynasty. Cause the guy speak in Mandarin and I, 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 I,
<laughs> See, Bim, so Charmaine already had breakthrough yes. because hair already. Yes, you don't realize she very she's very uh spiritual. So this is <clears throat> this is the place. The uh, interesting thing actually, uh, Jonas is from the princess reading room. You see oh. this formation. This too. Man Man Mo Xiang Nan. Man Mo Xiang Chin. Man Mo Xiang Chin. Man Mo Xiang Chin. From mm. his uh, uh, reading, because you have one smooth mountain and one rocky mountain, which is a bit, <clears throat> which is more uh, warrior, warrior like. Uh, <clears throat> honestly, Wudang mountain energy was quite intense. And uh, the energy is very strong, very aggressive. We feel the we hope, hope it. Because uh, and uh, the entire Wudang Mountain doesn't have a lot of uh, commercial stuff because the energy is not for commercial use. Uh, in fact, I think not many temples can handle that energy as well, which is why it's the Black Tortoise. So <clears throat> this is uh, this is the bus trip. Uh, Jonas would love it, like, and you can see all the mountains. Yeah, well, actually, this is two two layer already. This is too late already. Eh? From the peak looking down, I mm. see so many layers until I wanna wear the dragon. <laughs> well, everywhere I see dragon one. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. Now this is wow. very huge. Oh my god. It's really it's really really vast. I don't know how to say it, but it's all connected. Yep. <clears throat> So this this one is best taken from the bus, but obviously just stick mm. the handphone next to the window. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> it's really vast. But uh in terms of uh energy, the, the mm. mountain energy here is very intense. Okay, so this is uh the after the princess slope, we have we take the cable car to to the next place. Uh so you can see from the cable car, I uh guys, um, I'm not sharing the audio, so we just Jonas and I are gonna just talk over it, okay? Because uh, when you embed a video into Streamyard, uh, it doesn't share the audio, don't know. So you can see okay, a in this lot video, of I saw there are there's some of rocky. Mountain. Oh, you see? Yes. Oh my god, there's it's, a lot. Of... Uh, a... Oh my god. So. That uh that week um that week was uh also the um Zhou Tan Tim Kong. Uh, uh ritual is a ceremony ritual, it's basically it's the a, Suan Wu Black Tortoise birthday. Ah, it's the feast day or birthday la, for lack mm. of a for lack of a better word, uh of the black tortoise. And the black tortoise is up here, and you is down here. And oh, so have this is just the beginning. Stairs. This is the beginning. Uh, well, after the <clears throat> after the cable car, you get here and then you have to start climbing. And okay, what okay. You see at the bottom here actually is uh because it's a feast day, uh a lot of uh temples, uh most of them because I we got curious enough to ask. Uh, some of them came from Taiwan. Some were from Fujian province because the Hokkien people loves the black tortoise, and yes. so they bring they bring their uh the 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 deity from their temple, and these guys I tell you are uh, you no matter how tired you look at them you feel that you should go on uh, because they don't take a car. they hike up the mountain to reach this point and climb the stairs and they are carrying the the. The, the deity, the sedan chair. They're carrying the deity. <laughs> the carriage. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course, they change. They change people lah, but still, you know. So, so they bring to to bring to the top, and and basically, it's either I I'm guessing I didn't ask, but I'm guessing it's either to refresh the energy or uh, you hang on, uh, to open the consecration. The yeah, uh, to consecrate. Again, or either to consecration or to sanctify, but basically to boost mm. up, renew the energy normally. Mm. Yep. 
So inside, uh, I and guys, I don't take photos of deities and and uh, the the gods. Uh, uh, Buddha, I'm allowed to <clears throat> only the main one, but I do not take photos because <clears throat> all the all these statues have been consecrated. So it's akin to I simply come to you and then snap your photo. You say you like or not? Okay, I I don't want no after gonna pia. Privacy policy. Privacy policy. So Jonas, here this little wooden place is when mm. you climb, 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 climb. This one is a staircase. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You climb, you reach a spot where you come in, and inside here are also three deities facing to a very nice uh formation. Mm. So uh uh the energy in here is is the most calm in the whole mountain. Oh wow. And this one Sifu Gary actually stood outside there and every one of his group that come that comes panting, climbing up. <laughs> you you will grab and go go inside there. Go inside there. Go inside there. Do what? Go and play la. Or oh, play. Yeah. Okay. But uh makes it to the top. This is the top. Uh just to show after that. Now, now thinking how to go down to know. Oh my god. But uh, there is a lot of, uh, uh, at the time when I got up, uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, consecration stuff going on. So I cannot, I'm limited by how much I can film. And plus, okay, it's a very small space, you know, and it's crowded with Chinese people, okay. So there's mm. a lot of. Literally, everyone is talking and no one can hear what they are talking about. <laughs> so, last place was the Purple uh, Heavens uh, Temple. Uh, this one, uh, when we got there, there was a ceremony going on. Oh, Jonas, the energy so strong, I can feel it. Starting. Yeah. It's so, this is the around the body. When we're having the opportunity to reach to this kind of places, yeah, you will feel the tingling sensation, the goosebump is striking out. So those, those are what we call the energy. So this is the ultimate purpose, yeah. So imagine if you're staying there for maybe you you how, how long you do stay in this area for one hour? Mm, Three hours, this, right? Each place is about one hour, more or less. Mm. <clears throat> so, so you'll be fully really charged up. So I uh or me I like I like I say low if if it was Jonas he'd be having long conversations with the with the energy already la. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm just standing there going thank you ah thank you for the blessing thank you. For me, I I'm gonna open my jaw and just vacuum. <laughs> okay, so that's Wudang. Uh, all that climbing. Uh, my calf muscles seized up. So the 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 final stop at uh, Wudang Mountain the next day, I didn't go, which is to the Dragon Head and the Temple of the, uh, God of uh, God of uh, is it God of Thunder or God of Lightning? Can't remember. God of Thunder. Like, God of Thunder. Ah, Loikong. Loikong. So, <laughs> so that one I skipped. Uh, because the lady very pain. But check out this way, this one from the cable car. It's the same mountain you saw earlier. Again, mm. the five elements mountain. Makes me wonder in the middle there got peach tree, you know. If have that will be perfect. Because at least the first one, the greedy wolf with, with all this wood and also the tabletop mountain is so obvious. I think for feng shui level, you all already know it's all in one. Nah. But as you can see, yeah, I'm also curious who can stay here. But it's still greenery though. Means it's not too, not too extreme. Not many people la. can stay here. Mm. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Not many people can stay here. Uh, this one is because in the legend of uh, Xun Wu Kong, uh, the monkey god, uh, when he stole the immortal peaches, the immortal peach is found on a five element mountain. So that's why I'm wondering. Huh, I asked that time I was a uh, cow was in the in the in the cable car with me. I'm going like cow, you mm. know whether got peach uh, immortal peaches there, no? expired already so long expired <laughs> okay so 
<clears throat> uh, this is nothing. This one we crossed the Yangtze River, so I had to take a shot. Okay, mm. run water. Okay, hello, run water. Okay, peoples, run water. Okay, so, uh, this one now is uh, Lushan, very different energy. Uh, Jonas, the the moment the bus started going up, I felt relaxed. Mm. This one is more soothing, smooth, not aggressive. Mm. Yep. And it's Wow. Straight away. It's quite tall. Eh? So now, now, I want to go back in September and stay one month who wants to come in. And rent a place. Stay there for one month. Uh, one week enough. La. One week. Uh, one week is uh, the energy very strong. Uh. <laughs> what it's to eat one... there? The concern uh, is the hello, food. Hello, I've got Starbucks, okay? As long huh? as I've got Starbucks, we're good. Because <laughs> Starbucks one. Uh. As long as I've got Starbucks, we good. Oh my god. Nice. This one is very nice. I think nice. this is a, quite uh, a, a powerful you, mountain range. Eh? It, it is. But it's uh, calm and soothing. And mm. uh, your uh, immediately your body reacts to it just mm. by relaxing. So this is, uh, you can see the, the, the mountain... Um, the the place is very misty one, so so it's very hard for us to see the mm. the the whole thing. But you can already see that there is, right? And uh, and then uh, this part, this you can see. Whoa. This is textbook, okay. First, for those who are interested, okay, the parent mountain here, and then they are releasing the energy. This part they are pushing out a lot of uh, legs. Of course, it's, uh, I think uh, it's a lot of all these veins is uh, mm. to stabilize. And uh, you can see here, I don't know if you can see here, the, the head, alamak, sorry, the head turns back mm. a little bit to protect itself. And you'll see the embrace, the kiri kanan embrace, the energy mm. coming out from here. Yeah. So the this energy, the energy spot would be somewhere around here. Mm. And in front, in front, we can't really, uh, I mean, uh, I couldn't take the full picture, but let me see. Uh, this is the video. You can already see the, 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 the sun and mm. the sun. There's a additional small hills down there. Yep. So the chi mm. will be also contained in certain way. Contained. Main. Yeah. Yep. So the uh uh but again this is a spiritual mountain so um not so great for wealth unless you know how to monetize spirituality law. Yes. <laughs> uh, different mountain use different way. This is this mountain is no good for this no our normal commercial stuff. But if Jonas and I go and practice our puzzle and feng shui there. <laughs> Heaven, Earth Unlimited. <laughs> so, okay. So, the next day, this one is going about to go and meet the immortal, okay? So, um, this is the lake. Uh, this one, actually, they show me one time. Uh, uh, it seems clear here, but it, it, within five minutes, it can get misty. So it uh, the universe showed me one time how uh chi collects on the water and is dispersed by the wind because you see the the uh mist and the fog rolling in from the mountain literally rolling in and and stand at the the lake and then the wind blows and it disperses and it becomes clear like that but did I take a video of course not lah because I so busy standing there going. Then animated, I think, you animated. Uh, no, sorry, <laughs> only show you one time, okay? Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, this is uh just before we are going into, uh, see, this is the lake five minutes. Oh, okay. Later. Okay. So, koi koi yao si yao 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 hou to mo yao si jiao jiao clear and stuff like that. So, um. <clears throat> 
Ah, uh, this one is the uh, share for fun. Okay, last time when we do the puzzle forecast, I show a AI generated tree that grows <laughs> like this. Wood. Everybody, everybody, tell me where got jia wood grow like that. Hello, this one actual <laughs> one. Okay, when I saw this photo, I couldn't stop myself. Nah, I saw you. This is not AI generated. Uh, just for disclaimer, uh, this is not AI generated. Yeah. This is real one. <laughs> This one is real one, okay? <laughs> you can see it on uh, Mount Lusan. Uh, this is uh, this is very nice. I I I I like this picture a lot. Two different types of uh, jia wood inside the mist. Okay, so to get to the immortals grow toe. Wait, wait, wait. The red ways. color one is what? Wish making ah? When you ah, wish making. Is it for when relationship? You... I I don't know. Do you bind yourself with any anyone? No. Do you do you ties with anyone? Is there you no. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no. The, the Chinese cupid no. god. Oh no. my god! I too bad. <laughs> no. Okay. In, along the way, uh, there is this big boulder where they say that if you if you tap one time is for nobility. Touch it one time, nobility. Touch it two time for wealth. Touch it three time for fish blossom. I only touch two time. Enough. <laughs> so there are two ways to get to the immortal cave. Okay, mm. so you guys who are familiar with the eight immortals uh, story, one of them is this dude named Li Dongbin. And so um, I, 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 uh, there are two ways to get there. Okay, the easier way is you take a bus to the stop and then you climb down a few flights of stairs toot, 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 and you reach already. Okay, the other way <clears throat> is to track through the mountain like this. And it takes about one and a half hours, two hours to, to, to track through the mountain to get to it. So, of course, this is a spiritual excursion. So, suffering is de rigueur. And <laughs> so, we have to track through the mountain. Lah. So, uh, halfway along the way, got little commercial area. I tell you guys, sausage never tasted better than here. Serious mo. Serious mo. The fellow selling ah, uh, the fellow selling tong soy. The uh. fellow sell grilled sausages. Ah, uh, some more got little coffee place. You can climb up there, sit down, drink some coffee. This this place whole wong ah, I'm so enjoying it. It it feels like those those ancient rest stops, you know. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hard, son, no. So, <laughs> so this is just a small uh place to sit down. There, I I saw there's ice cream. There's also quite a lot of merchandise. Hey, you got buy yeah. any merchandise, ah? Ah, uh, no, I only oh, bought books. Bad. So. <clears throat> So this is this is like the rest of I I I really love this the 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 really the sausage tastes so damn good. Gong dong all the Okay, so this is uh Dojo lah. This is the grotto of the hmm. uh immortal again as usual. Out of respect, I don't I don't take too close. Hmm. Right, so you you could do me. Yeah, what well, is okay. Uh, yeah, loading. Okay. okay, so basically I'm this house is backing the mountain. Yep. Uh, this is another temple. I'm not sure. In those Wait, fire, la, oh, okay, okay, okay. The strongest energy is uh, actually inside the... Uh, behind him. Behind mm. him, uh, yaw, there's a pool. Uh, a, a pool of uh, this is uh, heavenly hot water. So, wow. of course, must uh, wash hand uh, and, at this, uh, and collect. Uh. That's what I collected. So, the heavenly hot water, and if you turn on your uh, camera uh, light, mm. you actually see something that is in the shape of a dragon on the wall. Mayan yeah. okay. It's a natural formation. Natural formation. So you can even see uh, it's a natural formation, but I didn't take the the what and that that spot when you touch the wall has energy again. What okay, go on, Tao Fan Molin. 
So what's uh, Sarah? Okay. Uh, so what's your breakthrough later? I, I will share. I'm, I'm quite obtuse one. My, my, <laughs> my breakthrough came very late. Okay. Other people breakthrough God knows how many times already. Okay. So breakthrough time. Okay. This is a uh, pretty much final day to Tong. This is called the Tonglin Temple. Uh, this temple is non, uh, non commercial means that you don't have to buy tickets. You can just go in. And everything is uh, free, of course, if you want to give donations, by all means. <laughs> so from you at the starting point to reach to the uh, Amitabha is 999 steps. Okay, 999. <laughs> okay, some people say 949, but really, what's the difference? Yeah. Really no, walk no, until you on Gao Gao, uh, this one. Yeah. Really walk until so, you on Gao Gao. So to explain, they have uh, three ways uh, you can go up. The, the wooden staircase here is for those who are doing the traditional sampo ya kao. Okay, so that is gentler on their, their knees and on their feet the wooden one and at the side here you can just see the uh, covered area that one is a sloping one so that means you don't climb the steps but it's uh let's just assume it's 999 so along the way okay along the way the uh the entire trip now i tell my breakthrough okay i have a bum knee my left knee has been injured before and it hurts when i climb stairs Okay, so I've been using this uh the walking sticks, uh hiking sticks, right, to to help me get along. But uh it was still you know uh, a lot of uh, suffering lah. Okay, so to climb nine hundred and ninety nine steps is <laughs> okay. So when you reach halfway, this is the halfway point. Yeah. this was actually the toughest point for me because as, as I reached that point. Uh, first in my head is enough lah. What's your point? You climb up for what? All this inside my head already playing because you you are already in you know you're you're, you're in pain and your your leg hurts and and stuff and you're tired and so so the the voices starts to talk nonsense already. You know you go up there for what? Listen, you climb uh halfway already. You turn around now. And you go down, you would have done 999 steps. Well, what's the problem? You know, so this thing started to play. <clears throat> the um uh what's the word? The the uh the universal marker underneath these two um uh guardians is a LED uh board. And as I was sitting at that place uh resting. The LED board was playing the story of this monk who is also climbing a mountain very difficultly. In front of him was, I think you've all heard of that story before. In front of him is uh, uh, wolves, hungry wolves and tigers. Behind him was bandits. And it's like up also die, down also die. So, so the bandits there were shouting at him, Oi! Come down, it's too hard, it's too dangerous, it's too hard, you can't make it, it's too painful. Don't go up, don't go up. You know, and and uh and in the story, uh this uh Buddha is saying, just come, I protect you, don't worry, just come. So after I watched that, mm, okay la, I saw of two so so south la. <sighs> okay, go up some more. <laughs> so go up some more. I think I made it about about this way through, halfway through, okay. And um, two of my fellow, uh, uh, travelers came past me, you know, like Shinkansen like that, them bloody fast. And when you climb, all right, uh, they will prescribe that when you climb each step, you say at number one way top foot, number one way top foot, okay, which is a whole lot better than my normal style, which is I like to count stairs one. When I climb stairs, I like to count, but at nine hundred ninety nine, you better don't count. It's counterproductive, okay. So, so when my two friends come climbing past me, it stop holding the stick ah, niama alamak. So. Um, 
Uh, see, Fu Gary actually before we went shared a video of the proper way to climb steps without damaging your joints. So when you climb, basically, this is a foot. Ah, when you climb, before you put your foot down, climb up, move it to the side, and then put down the foot. Up, move it to the side, put down the foot. Like this. So it's this way. Always. Okay. I knew that technique. But because I was so focused on the pain in my knee, I was trying that technique, but by using the, the stick. Honestly, guys, most of, most of that, I don't know, 700 steps that I climbed, six, 700 steps, I was hunched over the stick. It was that hard. It was, I felt so heavy, hunched over the stick every step focused on the pain, uh, trying to avoid the pain, okay? So when I saw them go up using that technique, and someone <laughs> like bloody Shinkansen, I tell you, do, 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 do. Niyama. Okay, la. what have you got to lose? Try lah. What have you, nothing to lose. At this point, it's nothing to lose already. So I I, I stopped using the, the stick, I held it up, and I tried a few steps. Huh? Wait a minute. No pain, oh. Hui? Okay, then in that case, put the, the stick on the shoulder. Look up, uh, don't look down. Just look up. Look at Buddha. And just now more all made her foot. The last bit I literally flew up. And I understand now. The weight I felt was literally the weight of the word cannot. Because I kept thinking that it's hard. I cannot. So it was weighing me down. I created that with myself. Okay. That pretty much was my breakthrough. So, proof shot. <laughs> so you're going to print this photo, put it anywhere in your wallet. <laughs> Next time you go for excursion, if you feel I oh, cannot, cannot, then you have to take out uh. so, so sort of uh, like your motivation. Sifu, Sifu Gary, before we started our trip, gave us a protective food. To me now, hmm. this protective food contains all the positive energies of hmm. the mountain. So when I when I want to, then I I keep it with me. I don't throw oh. away. So when I got up there, of course, uh, uh with uh, Buddhist rituals, you have to walk three rounds around the the statue, and then after that, you can uh do your do your devotions and stuff and um the the most significant is when i was going downhill when i was ready to go downhill i already dismantled the walking stick because it's a foldable walking stick i so i went up with a crutch i came down with up so now that I climbed 999, Batu Kawan, uh, but no Batu Kawan, sorry. Batu, Batu Cave, Batu Kawan, <laughs> race track. Batu uh. Caves, Batu Caves, but 300, ni hang ah, let's go and ah, move, see ah. Okay, easy, ah, job, easy job, <laughs> easy job. Easy job, what is 300, what is hang sound chi? So oh that, God. that for me was the, was the, the, the breakthrough. That this, um, I know all of us know at an intellectual level that if we keep saying cannot, or we are hyper focused on what is stopping us, that we can't really find a, a, a thing. Intellectually, all of us know it, but uh, this time the lesson was literally uh, uh, sell deep. You really, really feel it. Because nothing else can explain how the pain just went away. <clears throat> You're lucky see Fugari didn't say to you, so I never tell you the time he knocked me on my head. <laughs> because every time when we go for any spiritual uh, excursion or spiritual path, sometimes we, we have a lot of thoughts like, you know, is it even possible? It, why? Why am I so passionate to come here? After that, you realize... Inside the head. Yeah. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Right? You go out for what? What's the point? 
Okay, you go up. Uh, then, then when the taunting didn't work, when I decided to continue, the taunting didn't work, the brain switched to logic, okay? Very good, no? You ever realize, the brain telling me, you ever realize the closer you get to your destination, the harder it is? <laughs> and no I was telling my brain, high come, high come. And then they're like, you see, you can see tired people sitting. Yeah. You can see people tired. They're tired. They just sit down, which is normal. I mean, you're really tired, no? So, so uh, the brain goes, you know, uh, this is the lesson. The closer you get to the obstacle, the more uh, uh, the more obstacles there are in your way, the closer you get to your objective. All that is the brain using now logic <laughs> because taunting didn't work. So now change tech logic so hence why uh using mantras and all that because you need to shut tell the brain to shut up because once i tried the technique and once i let go of this crutch once mm. i decided i don't need the crutch i don't even see the people in front of me got no obstacle i literally also went up like shinkansen hmm. oh. but it's also truly help you to rediscover that sometimes there's a lot of self contradictory self uh introspective or mm. talking to to oneself and therefore sometimes in some ex uh, spiritual excursion they don't really talk much you just have to fully focus on mindfulness walking you will discover mm. something but if you keep talking you keep entertaining then you lose your own self connection it will yeah. help to numb numb yourself but eventually, the, the purpose of the, the, the journey, like Pauline mentioned, is about she have discovered and reconnect with, with herself. And that is already sufficient. You know, sometimes we need a lot of training, a lot of obstacle. But this one, totally <laughs> look at it. Uh, what have I signed up for? <laughs> Pay so much, come here to, <laughs> to endure to so food. <laughs> Doesn't they have any <laughs> it's, relief or... It's like <laughs> and really... So when when uh Sifu Gary asked me that night at dinner, so he's like, so did you uh uh what did you experience at uh, uh Donglin? And and so I told him I said at the halfway point, he said it got easier at the halfway point, right? And I go, no, the halfway point was the hardest that time I wanted to turn back so badly. Then after that, then only he shared after I told him the whole story, like how I told you guys. He said, each step represents your life. And the point where you, you made the breakthrough after that, it means that the later half of your life is uh, smooth sailing because you learned the lesson. You managed to break through. Mm -hmm. so, so guys, anyone want to go? This is a Donglin temple uh, or Donglin monastery in Lushan. So anyone want to challenge the 999 steps? Oh, and the local has a culture. Huh? If you make a wish and the wish comes true, you better go back there and say thank you, okay? <laughs> repay. <laughs> that kind of repay, um, I think should be still okay. But I, I, was, I was very specific. I actually told, told Ome Topa, I told, I told, I said, I come, uh, my wish come true, I will come back, but I don't, don't expect me to do the some, uh, some boya kawa. No, uh, I climb only, uh, tell first. Uh. <laughs> some boya kawa. <laughs> you walk until before I even hopefully you already <laughs> roll back. Hey, but really, you, you see the devotees and the way they do it. There was mm. this uh, one elderly lady. Mm. She's so tired, she was crying. And and literally, she's crying. Uh, and the, mm. the daughter is like, Mom, Mom, it's too hard. It's too much. Mm. You need to stop. No, 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 no. I will go, I will go on. But she's so tired, she's crying. Mm. Wow, 70 years old. 70 years old. Mm -hmm. Sample, yeah, cow. Three mm. steps and then one cow top. Three steps, one cow top. Really not a simple journey. And plus it's so high on the mountain. So is the oxygen overall stamina so far ah, has been working actually, for you? Or actually you've been you've been training for this? Or do you need intensive training before you come here? 
Uh -huh. Okay, some level of fitness is required. And one thing that helped me once I started using the, the proper technique without thinking of the pain, without using the crutch, is that uh, my Tai Chi training helped because I know how to I, I know how to balance the, the weight without locking the knee. So that mm. actually helped, which is why when I got up there, it was like uh, when I finally figured it out because I'm as obtuse as L, okay, uh, like uh, to apologize to the universe, I'm slowly <laughs> like, like a leather lantern. You light also not bright. Right? So <laughs> once, once you figure it out, the that does help. But actually, for most uh, people, just some level of fitness. Some level of fitness indeed require because a almost a thousand steps, eh? not including the rest of the, the mountains and then temples. Before that, yes. Know? Yes. And this is the last ultimate. So after this one, totally no need. <laughs> just roll down. <laughs> After after this one, so there are uh, uh there were some some uh spots that I did not go for, uh mm. but uh because uh the my calf was uh due to because I I don't exercise much so my calf is not very strong so the muscle had cramp, so whoever wants to know how to quickly un uncramp uh the muscle I tell you you just find a roller and you roll it until it breaks. And plus before tiger that, bump. That... <laughs> you you roll the calf until until the, the thing opens. But yeah, that's the journey. That's the that's the realization. That was the lesson. That was the biggest lesson. Wow. So how many of you wanted to join this? <laughs> Maybe next time you all can follow Pauline to go back as a return of a favor. Or thank yeah, thankful for the for all the wish making that it already come true. So I think it's going to be worthy for her to climb back again. La. So how many of you wanted to follow? Her I will this time? willingly I will willingly climb again. But they are indeed yeah. people will will walk three uh, climb three steps and just kneel down and, and take a bow. La. Wow, la. But what I want to do is uh, 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 rent, rent a place in mm. uh, there. In I think uh, September would be a good time because it's almost autumn and uh, September that because uh, July August is uh, school holidays. So so mm. the mountain will be crawling with people. No good, no good, no good because you will hear the. Back. Yes, or so. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> so the uh, September will be a good time. So possibly maybe September. Wow. But overall, I think looking at all this, I also feel that wow, in order to plan, I I I think everyone also need to train their stamina. You wanna go now, you wanna go now, you wanna go now, you wanna go now. We okay, go next and time you go, I follow. Pin. We go and we go and see Li Tong Pin. We go and see the Ren Chen because that one I didn't go. We mm. go and see the Ren Chen, the waterfall. Mm. Okay. Uh, that one is uh, 2,000 steps. So that one I didn't go. Uh, 2,000 uh, 2, steps, steps down. Down and then 2,000 steps back up. That one I uh, skipped. Uh, uh, quite a few of us skipped. Uh, and then uh, uh, when see Fugeri asked me, he's like, why you didn't go for the waterfall? I'm <laughs> very honest. I'm very honest. I'm very honest. I'm very honest. What I said was, no, no. No, uh, that waterfall has no god, uh, no immortal, no Buddha. I don't go. So before the waterfall, I already fall down. No need to go already. It, and it's is uh, cause the day they were going, um, my my calf still hurts, and I was concerned about climbing down two thousand slippery steps because it was raining at at the same time. Oh. So I uh, I uh, and so. So I love your knees, two thousand. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Love your knees, two thousand. <laughs> so this maybe we should organize and just go to Lusan. Lose few pounds. Uh oh, yeah. This is the question that, that I asked her. Maybe she can explain. His first question. 
My first question. His first question. <laughs> did you lose weight? Ah? Uh, I uh, <laughs> see. Ah, all this physical activity and climbing, right? Every meal I eat two bowls of rice. <laughs> so the answer is I don't know. Did you lose weight? I don't know. <laughs> don't even dare to look for the for the scale for the weight. <laughs> I don't dare. I don't dare. Uh, the the food is really good. Uh, even in fact, actually, I feel the best meal was the vegetarian meal we had near the temple. Mm. And and <laughs> yes, Leong uh, Wun Fan, two bowl of friends. Yeah, guys, starving way. So it's definitely worth the climb, worth the food. And of course, uh, having the opportunity to really go through the entire journey and it did help you to stay mindful, uh, I think. And if you have the ability, uh, opportunity, if you're studying for sure, you're going to look at the real mountain range with so many mm. types of elements, mm. you can observe mm. there's all this pattern. Like, wow, such a wonderful mountain. How come no people staying nearby? Why? What kind of people could be potentially staying there? So those will help you to understand more about the not only the landform itself, but in terms of how all this energy are flowing. I I actually feel very grateful to have a chance to see uh, these uh, mountain formations. Can you share, especially this one? Can you uh, I share? Yes, let okay? I me. Mean... Because this one is literally textbook. Mm. When when we learn, they they draw for you. Yeah, the scorpion you, shape. Uh, the scorpion shape look like mm. a dragon and stuff like that. Parent mountain, ancestor mountain, blah, 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 blah. But you never see it. So this one, I, I feel very grateful that I actually have the chance to see it in front of my eyes. Mm. But yeah, because... this is a spirit still. It's calm, but it's a spiritual mountain. And... Uh, the unique thing about the Lushan Mountain is there is a church, there is a Taoist uh, a grotto or temple, and there is a Buddhist temple. So this mountain's energy can encompass so many different types of uh, religion. It, it, it has this capacity. Oh, so basically uh, it's a transit no. airport. Ah, it's transit airport. Uh, Wudang Mountain, no, Wudang Mountain is purely a, a, a Taoist, Taoist. Uh, powerhouse because uh, mm. I think only the, I, I'm very sure only the Black Tortoise uh, can, can, temple can handle this type of energy. Yeah, because in order to sit on such a powerful position, you do have to be able to with, with hand, with all this kind of aggressive energy and be able mm. to grow because that's why a lot of people asking about wow black tortoise is it a bad thing or is it a scary manipulative it is not entirely yeah in terms of the chiman layer of how to interpret the energy and just now uh, pauline also mentioned there's a lot of people may not entirely understand that sometimes the deity their background story it's just a sum of the energy, their jing, jing he san, how to say, their, their principle, their spirit, their belief system. Some of the features uh, are aligned, but not all the story. The, this is a good time to actually explain about, uh, uh, um, in a way, Taoism as well as Hinduism, which is uh, mm. two of the current mainstream, uh, two of the oldest um so-called mainstream uh spiritual beliefs or, or religion uh, for lack of a mm. better word uh in today's world okay and why so many deities why so many idols all right um they are actually first of all they don't look that way okay they are energy forms they are different manifestations of the universal energy that's what they are okay so why so many is because the ancient peoples, the, the, they understand one thing. We are not one size fits all. All of us vibrate at different energy, of course. You know, so maybe some of you uh, 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 feel more connected to uh, Jonas and the way Jonas presents stuff. Some of you maybe likes uh, Charmaine's style. Some of you likes how I... It's all 
basically it's all the vibration ngam ki ya. Yeah, right yeah at the mm. same vibration it's the same as music some of us love rock and roll some of us love uh soppy sappy love songs some of us like k-pop it's the vibration okay so same with these and also the reason why they are given a name of a, a gender a personality is this the ancients also understand another thing i put a human face in front of you it's easier for you to connect Rather yes. than something that is vague. So that is why they have these uh, uh, statues. They are basically uh, representative of the, as Sarah puts it nicely, the essence of the energy. It's for you all to recognize because that's how mm. you can use your both left and right brain to memorize. Otherwise, you mm. look up on the star, oh, every star are the same, just matter of size. But even giving you the know-how how to measure, you still look at star law, right? So therefore, in in um the in in the old ancient way, you know, for in order for them to explain, they need to put a shape, a physical form mm. to contain. Yep. So therefore, in different culture, they will appear differently according to their own local culture understanding. Yep. Okay. So therefore, it's ultimately it's the the characteristics of of the energy. So it may inherit and connect to certain people like, wow, how about Jia Yin, Jia Yin, Keanu Reef, can or not, can. Maybe I'll tell you Jia Yin, you don't understand. Tell you Keanu Reef, can or not, uh, can. But don't pray Keanu Reef lah. Uh. <laughs> so the same the same day after Wudang, uh, that night is uh, in the US was the solar eclipse. Mm. And uh, Sifu Gary was sharing with us that you know this is uh, this eclipse will bring back this uh, uh, energy of self reflection and stuff like that. So you may find yourself uh, that night uh, <clears throat> having some uh, <clears throat> flashback or something. <clears throat> Unfortunately, again, sorry, Sifu Gary. By ten o'clock, somebody. <laughs> So it's literally, <laughs> Sorry. if you can, cannot handle the stamina, then you may miss out quite a lot also lah, for, for all this spiritual retreat. Some of our friends were, were actually asking, uh, Sifu Gary, should I, be men uh, should I be meditating tonight? By <laughs> looking at the fellow with much respect. Huh? Meditating. Are you ready for that? Bola Leo. Hey, because come to talk about this, mm -hmm. seriously, if you go and climb with all this mountain, our weight and our the, the oxygen pressure, it all changes. So your body has to keep mm -hmm. adapting. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how cold it is in this place, but at least it shouldn't be maybe 10, around below 20. No, 15. it's around uh, 15 to 16 degrees plus with the sun shining and you climbing. Actually, it's 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 not as hot as Malaysia, of course, but but you are sweating. Glaring, la, basically, the, the heat is still uh, affecting you. Mm, and uh, like uh, when the 999 steps at uh, Donglin, uh, mm. basically everyone who goes up there is drenched in sweat. It's, that one is normal. Okay. But looking at this one, you climb the... 999 steps. This one is hard because the steps are uneven. Some are high, mm. some are low, and there's a lot of people. So you're being jostled left, right, and center. And um, uh, guys, I need to tell you, if you are not used to it, the local Chinese, even though you're not allowed to smoke on the mountain, but the local Chinese, even while they climb, will light up a cigarette, okay? So all those who cannot stand cigarette smell, go ready with a mask, okay? okay. Uh, they, would, they, they have officials uh, uh, around to tell people, to scold people for smoking, <laughs> okay? I didn't smoke, okay? <laughs> when I can't, I didn't smoke. <laughs> so, but the locals will, very king, one uh, the cigarette hole in the... <laughs> Okay. So, it, so it's 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 very uh, it's challenging because you're being jostled. The steps are up and down. Of course, you would be tired. Uh, there's very little space for you to stand aside so that you don't block people. And hmm. the higher you go up, the 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 more the traffic jam because everyone the moment you climb up, 
you can already kneel down. So you don't have much space. Literally, like the moment you climb up, you you take two more steps in front and you yeah. can already kneel down and <laughs> kneel down and go. <laughs> so once you enter the 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 where the deity are located, is there any uh, you cannot feel energy anymore? <laughs> Everyone is already crowded like sardine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, up at the golden pavilion, uh, at the top here, at this part, I didn't feel, I didn't feel the energy. The at the purple heaven, uh, mm. that one has the strongest energy. Oh. Part of the Ooh. challenge, bandits and wolves have been replaced by smokers and jostling crowds. This one because it's in China, uh, no choice. Uh. And plus, they were having the ritual. It was a uh, like the annual ceremony mm. of the birthday so therefore mm. the people from other continent or from their different yeah. temple they'll bring their own the same swanwu temple mm. to go there mm. to gain blessing to do consecration sanctify or basically to, to recharge. recharge yeah mm. so some people who are wanting to start their own uh swanwu the black tortoise temple, temple? they also mm. have to do this yeah and they they were in the same hotel as us and they they will take over the 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 uh lobby for a while and so so when they arrive at the hotel at the lobby they will set up the they will put the gods down at the temple and then they will light incense and stuff so the the <clears throat> they lobby so we when we went i'm not saying this is a normal thing this is a once a year thing because it happens to be the feast day for the Black Tortoise. Basically, what is, is a feast day is that the energy is at its strongest. Yes. And for those who wanted to connect, you know, let's say, oh, your guardian is the Black Tortoise. Huh? You also may want to go back, go there to recharge. So why not? But if you can handle all this stuff, I think it will be fun. It's just that, you know, you have to select a better day. Lah. I thought by celebration day, when you go out, of course, the energy was stronger, but I forgot about the crowds. And plus, like Pauline mentioned, there isn't much space for you to do meditate and no need to think. You just go there. No need to think. You just you just push by the crowd up. And then you get there, you 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 push, you have to kind of push your way through because uh, everybody wants to 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 kneel. There's only two spots to kneel in front of the Chen Wu and and pay your respects, and then you get pushed off. <laughs> Are there temples for all the deities all over China or just in certain regions? Uh, Chloe asking. Uh, Chloe, I think you're talking about the, the Chimun deities. Uh, there are for the Black Tortoise, for the Lady of the Nine Heavens. Uh, Lady of Nine Heavens is in Chengdu. Uh, also got in Malaysia, Telfosa. And uh, the, uh, for sure, there would be for Surging Snake. Uh, nine Earth is fairly common. Uh, even in Malaysia, also nine, nine Earth is is fairly common. So you may. Uh, the, G, uh, the red phoenix and the grappling hook uh, is red the phoenix. hardest. Is the is uh, the those two hardest. Yeah, the rest like nine heaven is most of the places can find. The easiest one is the nine Earth, because there's no mm. one fixated. Yeah, this for nine Earth. There's mm. no one fixated. And for chief, it's also difficult. It's also rare. And just normally they have the xiong tong, the, the medium. Uh, you may be able to find, but most of the time, no lah. Because chief have few Still. layers. One each of the guardian, each of the deity, yeah, they have different uh reincarnation, different di different team of life. Like Xuan Wu itself, the first realm, the root, uh, the first chakra level one, is the one who keep killing. And hunger for survival. So therefore, this different re reincarnation. The highest one is a uh, uh Tin Dai Dai. Uh. Yeah. The Xiang Tin Dai is uh, the seven level, the six level, where they already have their own empire, they are managing their empire. You will feel completely different. So uh oh hi Elena. <clears throat> so are hi, that Elena? actually Chloe mm. to give you a simple answer? Uh, uh, Chinese temples and Indian temples. These two 
two types of temples are very good indicators of high energy spots. Yes. Most they of are the usually time, markers. Yeah. Mm, most of the time, people who discover that that is the right place to build the temple, they either they receive signal, uh, message, or some people may even dream, or some may even discover certain unique rock. We call it the meteorite. meteorite la, okay? So some will have the land. Despite the temple inside, they have tiles. If the ground they still have exposed, means those are also energy spot. They have different uh, design, different purpose, and different hmm. advantage and disadvantages. So like temple so, like this, you ask for relationship, uh, uh, difficult. Mm -mm. difficult. Really difficult. <laughs> Chloe, G, yeah, uh, temple just, like this, not uh, not 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 for asking for relationship. Okay. Yeah, are there temples for all the deities all over China or in certain region? Uh, most of them they are separate. They are each region will have different deity different god like ma zu and also the Xuan Wu will be mostly uh prayed by the hokkien the the fishermen because they govern the the, the water the flow water so most of the time these two deity are the well known and the uh, general for all the temple in chinese temple most of them they have the five uh five general thunder god mm. uh, spell mm. those are standard like five you will see five head one of them is like a bird head a bird beak uh that's the five general this is one of the Lui Zhan Zi. yeah mm. but sometimes you just go there to download to feel the energy no need to pray yeah uh. some people say oh do i need to pray if you're not comfortable uh don't it's... pray ah uh, if you're not comfortable don't pray don't yeah. don't don't offer uh incense don't don't mm. don't just go there and feel the energy be respectful uh, of course yeah just but, be respectful uh, no need to yeah no no need to no need to to uh that's the nice thing about how is gods they're not jealous when you don't want to do don't do that i don't care yeah because they are higher realm they're not petty, because, they're not petty yeah. okay yeah mm. they're not petty Mm. They they seen truth human layer so many layer already they it was like oh, yeah, just another human. <laughs> they are not petty. Don't worry. They you can't upset them one as long as you don't do silly things like go and go and go and climb things or stuff like that. Of course, which I know you guys won't do. So yeah, if you if you guys are, are interested, honestly, I I my my personal recommendation is the Lusan Mountain ten ten. I recommend. <laughs> Then which one, which one, which one is the next one or the, the ultimate climb the stair to the heaven one? Have you seen that? That one, actually, I feel, ah, which one? Uh, the one, they, they actually make the Range Rover advertisement where it's the tall step reaching to the heaven gate. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. which one already, the name. <clears throat> I don't know. So, but yeah, Never the uh, Lusan, Lusan Mountain, nice, really nice energy. And, and it's, uh, it's acceptable to almost anyone of uh, any faith. Because mm. like I said, in, in uh, Lusan Mountain, you have, uh, you have a church, uh, you have a, a Buddhist temple, and you have a Taoist temple as well. So up to you, la, whichever one you like to use, you use them. Yes. Because ultimately, most of us just go there to download and refresh our energy. Like Pauline mentioned, the Lushan Temple, it, it does sound, the, the mountain itself, it, did, it does sound quite interesting because it's, the, it's a transit terminal airport where it's basically the high-speed internet connection for you to connect with the higher spirit. So for those who have depression, after you climb there, you no longer, you will totally forget about your depression. No time for you. Actually, for you uh, like, like, like the, the 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 my 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 very basic breakthrough is actually mm. that I mean, okay, if I have depression, yes, I you still have depression, yes, my my knee still hurt, okay, but the problem came because I was so hyper focused on the pain that for one week every step I took was trying to avoid the pain, 
And mm. in doing that, I cause more damage. So it's the same with, let's say, let's take an like, example of depression. Yes, depressed. But because I became hyper-focused on the depression that nothing else existed. So that was the lesson. So next time when Pauline organized this trip, you all have to prep yourself. You have to do a lot of exercise and train your stamina. You better come with me uh, because I'm not very good spiritual guy. Okay, as, as <laughs> I mentioned, I had to apologize to the universe many times because obtuse. Okay, the, <laughs> no, the no, universe my... literally had to show me video, okay, just to get me to get along. So the more standing there, oh, this one is it really evidential occurrence? Ah, hey, Dong Ji la, let's go. Affinity is anywhere in any way, so therefore, it's just it's about how much you're aware. But like you say, sometimes all these, these huge steps, you know, is actually good for us to really focus within. Because we have to walk all alone. We cannot drag along with other people. Everyone have their own path. We can't compete. Mm. We can't compare. The moment you look at other people, you try to compete, then you are basically losing the the, the intention, the real intention mm. of the mm. process. Like Pauline mentioned, what I learned from her during this excursion indeed, sometimes the power of our mind can help us to create more resistance. Mm. So, or sometimes it, it really forces us to really surrender. And either you have to go through a, a journey where you there's no U-turn. Like her case is like there's no U-turn. It's either up or up. If you're down, then you wasted all your effort. Mm. So no way for you to U-turn unless you're really unbearable due to all this uh, real injury, you know. But sometimes this is life. You, we have been bombarded by a lot of noises. So going through this kind of real spiritual internal in attunement, I think this is quite crucial. But for me, actually, if uh, uh, I dare to give some feedback to uh, Sifu Gary, the itinerary was a bit too packed. So rushing if, if one we, spot to another. A bit, uh, one spot to another, rushing, rushing, rushing. Oh, it's going to close the oh, You better go quickly. It's going to close. So, so if if we were to do our own stuff, I would like to have a more relaxed. Ten days, ten days trip. Ten days, and each each spot, each day is one main spot instead of trying to cram three, mm. which was what we did in Wudang Mountain, cram three into one spot. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> Imagine if. All three, you also have to climb. Then uh, I think, do we have an auto, uh, auto electric wheelchair? Because I, but I, I don't blame him because getting to Wudang Mountain is a day trip. Because from Wuhan to Wudang to the mm. base of Wudang Mountain is a five hour bus ride. Five uh, hours. So you one day already bye bye already. Okay. Five hours. So so I don't I don't blame them for for cramping it in but i think uh uh if we can space it out a bit more mm. it's actually easier for many people and uh you you won't be so pressed for time you're not so rushed so the most can you imagine the uh, most... you're downloading mm. energy in front of the altar and you're thinking she, 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 how long have i got never mind, never mind, just stand here some more. yeah 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 you're right you're right after, you know, especially when you're being pressured, you will be also inside the It was like your, your mind will be everywhere. <laughs> feel, you can feel, but can you totally connect? Mm. Mm. So the most ideal so we... range is 10 days. About that, yes, 10 days. Mm. Good also, 10 days of real life transformation. And also, uh, it's going to be your personal Olympic, yeah? Personal yeah. Olympic, you are being <laughs> finally you can you can go for such a wonderful um Olympic ceremony where you're competing with yourself. Mm. Mm -hmm. JC Beams, inspiring. Thanks for sharing insight. We learn without having to go through. Uh, best if you can go through like it's totally enlightenment. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, Sarah, can I ask how much did the trip cost? It depends on 
different different uh people will charge different. Hmm. But it will cost you for her, cost her, her leg lah. Ah, leg cramp it until cost me now. my leg pain lah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Come back, have to look for therapies. <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, the weird ah, this is the weird part. After go to Tonglin, come back. After that, the no more, no more ah, uh, leg no pain, no kyok um shin ah, matto mo. Ayah, should have go there first lah. Ay lo. Ayah, wrong sequence. Ay lo. <laughs> wrong sequence. Never mind. Let's let next time restructure again. <laughs> okay. It's like after breakthrough, it did the, the energy tell ah uh, that you I told you you okay did no nothing no no pain nothing no 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 limping no nothing no nothing. It's like what? Okay, so very okay. good. So hopefully tonight's sharing will already inspire you all to may start to consider about your own spiritual trip or perhaps drop a message to Pauline if you wanted to uh experience this. I think it's a lifetime experience worthy of uh, to discover. Okay, cool. Thank you for listening to my long and boring story, guys. Thank you. Okay, so thank you, everyone. So we will be seeing you same time, same place next week again. And hopefully, maybe we will be hearing some other interesting news from our white a white hair lady for from her uh, excursion to the north east north <laughs> okay so see you all next week bye bye good night good night